Hey guys, TOGC is coming soon, and Demo Locks needs some love too. I have two sets I want to show you guys in this video as Demo Bis for personal DPS and for support that I hope will guide your gearing for the rest of the phase going to TOGC. Enjoy. Well, let's get straight into it. Now, most of you Demo Locks out there hopefully have most of your gear at this point. You're probably chasing one or two pieces that your guild held out from you to appear fair to the other people in your raid or you just had bad RNG with a conductive seal or some sort of flare or something else. I, I figure most of you guys have all the gear that you already need, but this is the set I'm looking at for Demo support for Alliance and Demo support Horde going into the next phase. They're extremely, extremely similar. The only difference is probably 1% hit, and I will leave links to these in the description below. Well, let's go through the pieces and let's figure out why I chose these pieces. And the first thing I'm gonna talk about is I'm gonna cover the helm, the shoulders, the gloves, and the chest in one fell swoop. Uh, it's The tier bonus is really good. Having 10% damage on Emily and Corruption is really good. And the two piece is something I really wanna note here. Having 10% pet crit damage will help you keep up Demonic Pact and get Demonic Pact up faster. This would be something that I push for pretty quickly and hopefully can grab some 245s with the trophies off rip to do so. Uh, if you're missing something like Crown, I wouldn't really worry about that anymore. Uh, Amos and Tear is something you'll replace pretty quickly with a tier for the tier bonus. And if you're using tier chest, it's a direct upgrade. So a lot of these pieces, you're probably just going to go easy swap. And same thing with the gloves. So you're probably using Vezix gloves. If you're lucky, Theros gloves. And these will be an easy swap in. So tier, tier is pretty easy. And now we move on to the neck. This is the first piece where I found that the 252 from Old War from Iron Council provided more support than the new neck that everybody's going to be looking at, which is Whale of the Valkyr or Cry of the Valkyr for the Horde. And, Cry and Whale of the Valkyr has a uh, crit instead of that spirit. And I like Sapphire Amulet of Renewal if I'm going for support, so I wouldn't worry about something like a neck off rip and just stick with what I have and put your Loot Counselor DKP into something else. Next would be the cloak. Cloak's pretty straightforward. There's two cloaks, the 272 one uh, with the spirit and the haste, and then the 272 one with the crit and haste. We're gonna go for the spirit here. It's a lot more spell power. We love our big demonic pact. Bracers are a direct upgrade over last phase. We have our grasp of reason with spell power, haste, the red socket spirit, and then our man's of the ashen saint is just a direct upgrade. You lose out on the red sockets, blue socket, but who really cares about that? You just get all these direct static stat upgrades that just make it better and you just throw in a red in there and call it a day for the weapon i think that you're going to be building your source of hit uh, through some discussions with some other people you're going to be building up your set based upon which weapon you get first and i i think this weapon is superior because in my demo support set i would be running living flame and i know you're all thinking ew disgusting living flame i hate that trinket the proc isn't that big but the thing is a lot of the gear next phase doesn't have a lot of hit it's like gloves chest you're getting it out of the offhand uh maybe the boots and the belt there's not a lot of hit options and you still get a lot of value out of, out of having living flame because a lot of the fights are pretty quick less than two minutes so living flame uh, paired with a weapon and if you get like the dagger for example uh what is it? the blade of tarask for alliance or the barb for horde then you could build the hit out of living flame into something else and use like dying curse or something for offhand uh this is basically a cosmos this is the most spell power you'll get there's another offhand i want to take note of from 10 man which is chalice which is pretty solid for personal DPS, but most of you probably have Cosmos, and this is just a direct upgrade for Cosmos, and the Chalice might have more spell power with a red in it, and it has less hit though, so you gotta make that work, and it's fine, but so the Chalice is a good second option, most, or, or you can just rock Cosmos. I don't think Cosmos to similar transgression is that large of an upgrade, uh, but it, I guess it's up to you where to put your dkp or whatever but if you just want a cool looking offhand like rip, rip the symbol transgression or the the chalice gloves you already won over for belt i mean this is pretty straightforward this is just like your neck or your cloak or your bracers just spirit triple socket 
great spell power haste we love to see that now this is the off piece now in the affliction set i recommend the chest for the demo set i'm going to recommend the legs it's a lot more spell power these are really good i mean they speak for themselves just like the belt they're just there's not really any other options like if you if you go through these there's like there's a hit crit one which is cool if you want to drop the hit from living flame but the haste just feels better there's there's just not that much i mean most of you probably have leggings of enslaved idol and if you could drop the hit or you have the tier from last tier conquers leggings so you have either one of these and I definitely think this is a massive upgrade over either of those pieces and would be a fulcrum of your set as your one non-tier off piece. Now boots, there's a hit pair of boots where you could get your hit from. You lose 76 spirit and about 10 spell power, which isn't horrible. If you want to drop the hit from the living flame, then this is one of the stronger options I would pursue and to build your set around. Uh, boots of Morning Widow, I think, are superior, but obviously people don't like Living Flame, so you could go for the hip boots, and there's not really any other options uh, in the tier because you want that haste, and there's crit, there's a crit boots, and Fiery Resolution is basically a direct upgrade of Fiery Resolution, so you could continue that or mess up your hit. Rings, Conductive Seal is OP. We love Conductive Seal. Hopefully you have it by now. You should gun for this item if you don't have it yet. The second is Band of Deplorable Violence. It has a lot of spell power and spirit and a beautiful socket. Nice little yellow socket that Demo would love. So I would try to get my hands on this. If you have Nebula Band, uh, you're kind of in a comfy state. This isn't that much of an upgrade over Nebula Band, but in terms of raw spell power, this wouldn't be my first item if the Loot Council was offering me a choice. But it's definitely on there, obviously. Trinkets, we're going to go with Living Flame and Flare of the Heavens. Instead of Living Flame, if you find the hit, I would definitely encourage you to go for Dying Curse. It's Dying Curse. 71 hit. It procs twice the time because 45 second cooldown, 10 seconds, big packs. But being able to control your pact is something that I've come to terms with more recently with some further conversation. Shout out Softlock for, for this conversation we have where your your first pact is going to be your biggest. So why not make it as big as possible for the raid DPS during lust, during cooldowns, during trinket ICDs? That's why I think Living Flame might be a superior option with a flare proc for that initial demonic pact. But if you don't like flame, I would go for Dying Curse and find supplement hit in other places like for alliance you could just use drain eye for horde you would just talent it and or gem it which is unfortunate because you lose spell power or some other utility talents but at the end of the day you are playing how you want to play but in terms of support i think living flame is the best way to go and then our last mr sprig sprig is there's nothing better than Sprig with your big, big gem socket, 25 spirit, raw spell power. You're not going to find anything. Even from emblems, this is like an okay hit supplement. I guess it has less hit, actually. This one is poop. Just go for Sprig. Sprig is OP. And that's about it for Demo support. And if I had to pick uh, like a top items I would go for, I think uh, two piece and then supplementally four piece. Is pretty important this tier and then cloak and after after that the rest will kind of fall in place like legs would be the third thing after that in my opinion and in terms of the tier right now what i would gun for uh flare is your number one item you need to get that now second conductive seal living flame is typically uncontested just take it in case you need it i know you don't want to use it but just in case you have to it is there okay and lastly, Sapphire Neck would be the last priority because a lot of classes don't even use it now in their best and people it's like rotting in some runs that I know of. So this is the demo support, in my opinion. I think it's really solid. You have a lot. You have a shit ton of crit. 44% crit is really good. Uh, we're rocking no suppression in the talents. So in an emergency, you could drop demonic tactics and put it into suppression. But this is the talent set that we're going with. And I think it's really good. Uh, 
you could drop a point of demonic tactics and put it into intensity i know people love intensity but i don't think intensity will be that useful next tier i don't think there's that much aoe so this is our demon support set and our horde one same thing now let's move to the ever so fun and controversial personal de demo set from an alliance point of view our talents are the same where we don't take intensity still so if you need more hit or you want intensity you take one point of out of demonic tactics put into, into intensity now i don't have the buffs enabled for this set oh i have heroic presence enabled but we don't have the rest of the buffs enabled so this this is with heroic presence so you might need a, a little bit more hit but the main differences between this set and the support set are the neck and the trinket now we have to supplement the hit from the living flame and the dying curse not being there so i think rain of the unliving is a very good trinket for demo for personal dps the proc works very well with the rotation because it's all direct damage and it's a lot of raw spell power so if you're going for personal dps and your raid does not care about min maxing your demonic pact and doesn't give you loot priority you should gun for this trinket it'll be really fun and it should be big damn so that's my recommendation and the second thing would be will the valkyr it is just crit instead of spirit from the neck from iron council so it is a solid upgrade and that crit feels really good so everything else is kind of straightforward the only thing that might change is some of the gemming we go for a lot of the sockets instead of raw spell power and we have a lot of haste in comparison so i mean you can look at the raw stats like 3000 spell power you have 15 almost 15 percent haste and 37 percent crit and the support is rocking like 400 more spell power eight percent more crit oh it has buffs too so it's not entirely accurate but i mean it's a small it's a small difference but it adds up so just the trinket in the neck and i want to say that a special special shout out to humans next year with the advent of our epic gems for some of our blue sockets because of our spirit percent it's actually worth more to get the socket bonus for plus five spell power socket bonuses because we have the extra spirit percent in our racial so keep an eye out for that and make sure you're sitting that like a lot of these blue sockets are filled with purifieds for the soccer bonus because we just gained so much out of spirit because of the epic gems being just slightly bit better than than the other ones so i would recommend doing a lot of simming and trying to figure that out because things are obviously subject to change and i really encourage people to look up stuff on their own and then take everything with a grain of salt for horde uh, i mean it's the same thing we have one point in suppression here because we have to get the hit uh from not drain eye Again, if you want intensity, no, uh, tactics, intensity, and the gearing is the same. Hey guys, thanks for making it to the end of the video. I had a lot of fun doing a lot of simming for this, and shout out to Softlock again for helping me with a lot of these sets. All these sets should be in the description below. If you have specific questions on gearing now or into the next phase, I encourage you to join my Discord. My questions channel is always popping, and there's a lot of people willing to answer any of your questions at almost any time. But when I'm awake, I'm always going through there and trying to help people out. That will be linked below as well. My next video will be coming out next weekend. I have an interesting one planned, and I hope you guys can like and subscribe if you like this content. And keep encouraging me to keep making this stuff because i really do enjoy it so i want to thank you all i wish you luck in togc hopefully the ptr comes out soon and i hope to catch you next time peace